Um, if you have relatives who are older, above the age of 60 or 65, you want them to stay home no matter where they live in the country. Should they be staying home as others start to go out? Well, I think depending on your medical issues, you, you should be able to go out if you don't have major medical issues. Uh, and, and certainly it's fairly safe for younger population out there. Uh, obviously, you need to make sure that you really st stick with the social distancing and hand wash and all the rules that it's out there. But one of the big things that's coming out tonight, uh, Greg, to you, we've been talking about mutations. And some mutations, changes in the virus could be really bad. Uh, there's about 30 mutations out there. Some of the virus in Iran, in Italy, in New York, seem to be going the wrong direction and wrong mutations. But there are some places, for example, like in China or in California, in Arizona, the virus is not behaving as bad. And the study that's coming tonight from uh, Arizona State University is actually a good news for us because they looked at about 380 samples of swabs, and they look at the genetic components of this. And you know what they found? They found that about 80 genes are missing. And what that tells us is that perhaps this coronavirus in that, in that sample is starting to behave very much like SARS in 2003. If that's really true, and if it, in more studies we will see the same kind of outcome, then the second wave of this virus is not going to be very uh, aggressive and it would be mild. And we're hoping with the change of the season, Greg, that we are going to see more and more people over the age of 65, it would be safer for them to go out. So this is a good news and we just need a bigger study for the future. A bigger study for the future.